Hello there, sword friends. Today I'm going to talk about this right here. It's a bokin, or maybe a bokuto. Please forgive me if I'm saying the wrong term. I don't honestly know what the right term for, for this particular thing is, but I'm going to call it a bokin. If that's wrong, please forgive me. Anyway, I'm going to tell you about this one. It's from Kingfisher, and it's the first in a, well, in a couple of videos that I'll probably make about bokin, because the bokin I have been using for a long time is pretty much broken, and the other one I got to replace it also broke, so I figured I should probably buy some decent tools if I want to continue learning martial arts. And this is one of the most recent purchases that I got. Now, there's a couple things to note. Um, I did buy this with my own money for the purposes of training in martial arts. That was about $120-ish. I can't remember the exact fee, but I want to say around $120. Uh, it is a Katori-style bokken from Kingfisher. And in a nutshell, I had reached out. I had always thought that Kingfisher products were a little out of my league uh, because I always see them on the forums for like $400. But those are special different tools. I think the basic ones start around 80 and then you can get something a little zazzier like this one for 120-ish and they're, they're good refined tools and that's still nothing to shake a stick at. You can get a functional sword for that amount of money so why why buy a stick for $120 that's meant to beat other sticks? Um, there's a couple reasons for that and one is that it's just a very refined nice tool and if you like training with nice things and it enhances your experience then do that. I would certainly say that um, I appreciate it. I've trained with bokens that I got through trades and that weren't meant for my martial art and all sorts of things for a number of years. This is the first Katori style boken that I've gotten and I, I'm really thrilled with it. There are little details in here that are just, I don't know, subtle but appreciated. There's this little swell near where the kashra is. It's almost imperceptible, this little swell in this area. I don't exactly know for what reason it, it exists. Maybe you keep your hands on there, maybe pinky control. I'll have to figure it out, but I do notice that it uh, that it is swollen in this area. The craftsmanship, and just in terms of the polish around the, the kashra, just how even and crisp everything is. The lines, the smoothness, it doesn't ripple or waver. There's no loose sanding marks. These wooden ledges that represent the, the moon, the, the back, the spine of the blade, are crisp and even and, and parallel. They don't dent in or waver or wiggle around at all. Uh, it's it's just very crisp and clean. This tip is a Katori style tip. You can get a tip in a variety of different types, but just the edges, the, the way it's tampered, and I don't know that I don't exactly know if these diagonal kind of geometric shapes that are in the tip are at all traditional. But I would say that they're crisp and even and clean and free of sanding marks and overall just very pretty. The grain of the wood seems to run uh, kind of one straight line. It gives me the impression this is very thought out. Uh, design and well executed in terms of craftsmanship tool. If I had a gripe, it would really be the stain kind of along this shinogi area here. There's this small area that appears to be stained ever so slightly. It doesn't look like a knot or anything bad, just minor imperfections on what is otherwise a almost perfect piece of wood. There's one other small stain on this side, but otherwise just a very light, beautiful color. I don't know actually what this this material is made of. That seems like an important thing I should know before I start recording a video. I mean, I'm guessing it's white oak of some kind, though I, that may be entirely wrong. I will try to put additional information in the description down below. In any case, the blade is overall 38 and a half inches long. It's about 28 inches in the blade and the remaining 10 and a half in the handle. At least that's what it seems to be. It kind of blends down, so it's difficult to say where the handle ends and where the blade begins. But uh, it's not really a blade, it's a piece of wood. So I suppose you can choke up or move your hands to wherever you feel is appropriate. It weighs one pound, three ounces, which is not necessarily light, but it's certainly not heavy. Uh, as an example, I have a broken bokken that's missing, <laughs> missing the top third, and it weighs about an ounce less than this does. So uh, for, its, for how thick it is, it's actually a pretty light and comfortable comfortable bokken. I really, really like the way it feels in my hand. It also came really quickly. Uh, tip of my hat to the, the folks at Kingfisher. Um, I called up, said, well, I didn't call up. I sent a Facebook message when, and they responded. I said what I needed. They offered some suggestions, sent me a bill. I paid it and I got this, I don't know, less than three weeks later. The turnaround time has been fantastic. <laughs> Wait, this one. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm showing my Minnesotan here.
<laughs> oh, I have a couple other bokens on order from custom manufacturers that are just that have taken longer, and that's not a dig on them. I know the Polar Vortex has got a couple people not working in their shops right now, but in a nutshell, uh, the turnaround time was really good. The advice was really good. I, you know, the guy there seemed to know more about what a Katori Boken should be than I do, and I appreciate that. And the execution on this is just, I'm, I'm really, you know, I'm, I'm a little giddy from it, uh, from pulling it out of the box today and being really happy, but uh, it feels like a, a really great tool. I'm really looking forward to training with it, and, and that's it. So I hope the video has been something interesting. If you need a Boken and a hundred and something dollars isn't too much to spend on a stick for you, uh, and you want, you, you appreciate, I suppose, the refinement that you get, good craftsmanship and, and the like, and you want a a more elegant tool than perhaps the Boken you've been using, uh, this is excellent. I'm really, really pleased. That's that's about all I have to say. Uh, can I answer my phone? Cheers, and thanks for watching.